Hello Libra, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Libra watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. This reading is best for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. If you want to get additional messages, um, check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, etc. Um, I'll have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box so you can check that out. And let's jump right in for Libra. Spirits, angels, guides. What guidance messages do you have for Libra regarding love? What do they need to know about the person they are currently thinking about or in a connection with? So first, I'm going to look at what's going on in your connection. And then we'll look at how you feel about each other, the energies between you. So what's going on for Libra and this person? What's going on in this connection? Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Reverse. What's going on in this connection between Libra? Knight of Pentacles, what's this? The star reverse Aquarius energy. And the bottom of the deck, temperance, Sagittarius energy. So with the Knight of Pentacles, this usually symbolizes an offer that's taken a while to get to you. Some sort of opportunity that's taken its time to arrive, an opportunity that someone has really thought about before making. Um, this could be you or your person wanting to make this opportunity happen or desiring this opportunity. The Four of Cups Reverse is I feel someone that's open to a new idea or open to um, a new beginning or a new opportunity because the Four of Cups, when it's upright, it's typically a card about someone that's kind of closed off to any new opportunities coming their way. They don't really want to even see the cup that's right in front of them. They're just focused on what, what has already happened or taken place or what's already um, present, you know. So when it's reversed, it could be somebody that's open to an idea or an opportunity again. And then the Nine of Pentacles is typically a card about being um, secure, successful. Um, Nine of Pentacles could be an attractive person. Typically, it could be a single person. So we'll see what's going on here. Nine of Pentacles is very independent, self-reliant. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Okay. What else can you tell me about this Nine of Pentacles? Six of Swords, wow. So I feel like this is somebody becoming free of something, free of a burden, leaving a burden behind, leaving difficulty behind, focusing on themselves, um, doing what's best for them. They've chosen a different path here, Two of Wands. Okay, so why is the Four of Cups reverse? Why is the Four of Cups reverse? Wow, the Tower. What in the world? Why is the Four of Cups reverse? Is the four of cups reverse what happened here six of cups king of swords so this could have been some sort of conversation communication air energy here so the tower could be some sort of reveal someone here could have had some sort of revelation regarding the past or regarding a soulmate this could be a secret reveal this could be a, an unexpected event regarding the past I feel like this was a, an unexpected conversation or communication or truth because the King of Swords, Queen of Swords is, are here. What can you tell me, Spirit, about the Tower and the Six of Cups? Why is the Tower here with the Six of Cups? Oh, okay. Strength, Leo Energy, Queen of Pentacles.
interesting i feel like there's the, the, whatever situation this was um this could be unfolding right now going on right now in this connection but i feel like whatever this is is regarding some sort of situation at home or something to do with like i don't know maybe this was something that affected someone greatly because i feel like at least one of you is leaving this behind it's like this is tied together I'm being strong enough to leave or I'm being strong enough and valuing myself to to leave or see seek another opportunity something like that this is very strange I'll have to see what comes out tell me about the knight of pentacles when I look at both of your energies what can you tell me about the knight of pentacles wow ten of pentacles this is a big opportunity this could even be a job opportunity for someone like maybe someone accepts a job tell me about the knight of pentacles eight of swords fear knight of wands Hmm. This is very strange. I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> so let me see if I can get a little bit more clarity because I'm getting that someone could be afraid to make a move, afraid to accept this offer. But it's it seems like a really good offer, so I'm not sure why somebody would be hesitant. Judgment, okay. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Okay, we got the same message, Four of Wands. Tell me about the tower. I get one more for this tower. Justice, there you are, Libra. Showing up to your own reading. I feel like this tower was necessary, but I feel at the same time, it, it was almost like a, a difficult tower regarding like i said the past or some sort of reveal some sort of truth uh, but it's almost like someone got to the it was right you know the fact that it happened was the right thing to happen despite the fact that i feel it caused like a bunch of like do like a domino effect that was my dog <laughs> so okay yeah death scorpio energy and nine of cups somebody got what they what they needed to get or there was some sort of satisfaction despite the fact that something could have ended tell me about this knight of wands what's this knight of wands about i feel like both of your energies are here that's why it's not really connecting 100 percent. yeah so this is somebody that wants to go after this offer but i feel like there's fear here i'm trying to figure out why fear of you fear of being honest queen of swords because i feel like this is someone that's not making a move or it's dragging their feet they're dragging their feet okay so let's get some insight into your energies for each other oops i just of course dropped my plates okay so let's get some insight into how you're feeling, thinking about each other. Maybe we can get a little bit more clarity that way. I'm going to have your energies on one side and your person's energies on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me more about Libra and this other person. What are their energies? What are their energies? Libra and their person. What do we need to know? The sun. Okay. Tell me about, I'm going to put that back because I haven't asked my question. Tell me about Libra's energies. Libra's energies, please. Spare. What can we, what do we need to know about what Libra is thinking, feeling, their energies? Ace of Swords. So you want clarity, truth, communication, the world. Wow. I feel like you're the one that's kind of ready for, I, I don't know, I feel like you're, you're wanting us to step up here. Ace of Cups reverse. You've been hurt by this person. 
I also am getting, Libra, that with this Ace of Swords, you could have found out the truth about something or you got information about something. Um, I'm going to put down both of your energies and then clarify. Spirit, tell me about Libra's person. What do we need to know about their energies? Tell me about Libra's person. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Wands. I'm going to put it like this because I don't know how it fell. What else? What else do we need to know about this person that Libra is dealing with? What are their energies? The Empress Reverse. Yikes. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm getting here with the Empress Reverse is you are ups oops, you're very upset at this person. I feel like this person really upset you, broke your heart, or disappointed you. Okay, tell me more about the energies that Libra has in this connection. Tell me about Libra's energies, please. Restoring balance. Tell me about this person's energies towards Libra or this connection. The person that Libra is dealing with. What are their energies? Victory lap. I feel like you want peace in your life. But I don't know if you can get it from this particular person. Like, I don't know if you want peace with this person or away from this person. I haven't, I can't, like, make sense of it. Because you have the world and the Ace of Cups reverse. So it's almost like you want a new beginning that has nothing to do with love. I don't know if I'm right about that. We get some more insight. Tell me about Libra's energies. Tell me about Libra's energies. The, the raccoon. Hmm. Tell me about this person that Libra is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Libra is dealing with. What are their energies? The crow. The crow can see the past, present, future. They're kind of in tune. Hmm. I almost feel like you don't trust this person with the raccoon, almost like you can't tell this person your plans or what you're thinking. I don't know why though. Let me look at the crow real quick. Why would you hide something from this person? I almost feel like um, some of you could have blocked this person um, or, or like um, told this person one thing, but you're really doing another, but it's almost like for peace. So the crow is a symbol of magic, a gift for seeing the unseen, knowing the unknown. Crow energy is pot potent and should only be tapped into when the mind is clear. Spiritually strong, creative, watchful. Hmm. So this person could be tapping into their intuition here. Realizing something about an illusion as well. Because I'm picturing like the high priestess here. And your person has the high, the high priestess with the crow on the other side. And the lion is at the bottom of the deck. So I'm not getting that this person is trying to be like secretive or mysterious. This is such strange energy. I feel like you're both, you both have like your own plans regarding each other, but you're on completely different pages. That's kind of what this feels like. Can we get some insight, please, for Libra regarding these energies here, Spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Well, let's start with you, Libra. Why is the Ace of Swords here? What's this about? Why is the Ace of Swords here? 
Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Reverse. I feel like maybe this person is trying to open communication, talk to you about something. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Three of Wands. Mm, the Magician at the bottom of the deck. Waiting to manifest or waiting to make something happen. Knight of Pentacles after that. You could be waiting for this person to just tell you the truth about something. Waiting for them to finally decide to be open about how they feel or be open about an apology. Tell me about the world. What's this world about? Okay, yeah, you're manifesting. You're trying to make something happen. But I don't know if it involves this person still. Tell me about the world. Five of Wands. Tell me about the world. Where's the world here? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. There's the Queen of Swords. So there's some sort of conflict here with the Five of Wands. Some sort of difficulty. Um... You could be wanting to fix something or um, handle something. And it's almost like these are the kind of messages that I'm getting. It's almost like you just want to know the truth about something so that you can get something done or so that you can move on. Tell me about the magician. And the reason why I don't think that this is you specifically, yeah, Ten of Wands. I don't think that you specifically want to have a new world, new beginning, you know, new cycle with this person at this time. I feel like you're trying to work on some sort of baggage or difficulty, you know? It's like you're trying to restore balance regarding conflict, but I don't think it's specifically regarding love with someone else. If this is resonating with you, like so far, let me know in the comments, because I feel like this is gonna be a specific reading. Because the Ace of Cups is reverse, so you've been hurt. You're upset, you're heartbroken, disappointed. Tell me about the Ace of Cups reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups reverse? And you're probably upset because of a tower or the tower that you know we were looking at previously in the previous spread. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, you could have retreated, closed yourself off. Tell me about the Ace of Cups reverse. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So you're, you're upset or sad or heartbroken about what has already happened. However, I feel like this restoring balance is almost like you just need to have closure or peace regarding a decision, regarding a situation so that you can be okay. It's like you needing to know the truth so that you can move on or so that you can close a chapter um, or maybe you just want clarity so that you can figure out how to really feel. Yeah, the world. This is connected. There's Sagittarius. I mean, temperance, Sagittarius energy at the bottom of the deck balance i don't know exactly what this is about i feel like i'm missing a big piece here and i'm trying to like put it together so let me know in the comments what's happening that i'm missing but i feel like this is a situation where you're trying to make peace with what has happened or get clarity about what has happened and some of you are doing that so that you can move on with your life 
and others of you it's almost like you just want confirmation or to know that you're not crazy or to know that you you were right about something or this is the right thing to do for you to get this clarity you know like if someone did you dirty and they're not admitting it that doesn't sit right with you you can't fully move on until you get that that kind of energy now your person over here is thinking about success um, however, they also have the Ten of Wands and the Emperor's Reverse. So I don't think things are going great for this person. <laughs> They've upset an Empress. That's not, that's not fun. It's not a fun place to be. Let's look at this Ten of Wands first. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Seven of Cups. Four of Cups, Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles. So this person's trying to figure something out and it's regarding that Four of Wands from the previous spread. Four of Wands came out like twice. This could be a financial burden for someone. I feel like this person isn't happy with the way things are with the Four of Cups and the Four of Wands. And it's like they're trying to figure something out here, how to deal with this, how to make an offer, even a small offer. Yeah, they're working on something, this person. They're trying to figure something out. Three of Pentacles is here. That's someone that's like focused, working on something. King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles are on the board. Typically for me as a reader, they tend to already be married. The lovers, Gemini energy. There could be three people involved here. Seven of Pentacles. This person has no idea if they're going to be successful. They're just hoping for success. They're hoping that all of their efforts will not be in vain. And it's interesting. I feel like this is someone who... pretends this person is pretending but why it's almost like in their mind they're already successful but that's not the reality so this like if i pretend that i'm successful i will be successful <laughs> you know tell me about the empress reverse why is the empress reverse king of swords why is the empress reverse I'm really hoping this person didn't oh my god and there's a seven of swords yep okay wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck i was gonna say i really hope this person wasn't unfaithful to an empress because i feel like this person was being sneaky or deceptive and they pissed off an empress and i'm wondering since the queen of pentacles is here the king of pentacles is here and the ten of cups is here with the four of wands that this wasn't a marriage I feel like this person was thinking with the wheel of, yeah, there's the, there's the tower with the wheel of fortune and the seven of swords here. Cause I put the seven of swords down and this was at the bottom of the deck. It was almost like they were thinking, well, this is going to go my way. This is going to go the way that I'm envisioning it. I'm going to get away with this, etc. And instead they got a tower. Oops. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm seeing. They were probably in a partnership and they screwed up. And now they're trying to be successful still, despite the fact that I feel they were found out. Let's see if we can get some insight into this person. Spirit, can we get some insight into what this person is thinking or feeling about this connection or about Libra? Can we get some insight into what this person's thinking or feeling when it comes to Libra or this connection spirit? I'm ready to commit. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> okay. So, so they're upset. I'm overwhelmed. Okay. So 
So you're both heartbroken. You're both upset. But why are they upset? What else do we need to know about this person? I think it's almost like they're coming to you to tell you this. Hey, I I am beat up about what happened. I'm overwhelmed. I, you know, things were not supposed to go down that way. I feel you even though we are apart. Can I get one more? So many things remind me of you. So you probably distanced yourself from this person or there was a separation between you. The Ten of Swords is here. And this person is still thinking about you. They're trying to think of like how to make things right again. But I don't think they should be thinking that for whatever reason. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.